Dear Bruce's mom, once again I'm writing to you, apologizing for not being able to help Bruce. I haven't heard from him in three months and it's hard to tell if the clan got to him or not, with a change in management happening right away. But whatever the outcome was, maybe this tragedy can bring us together. As a mother and son from different families. There's no news about JC either. Cherell tried to kill him and put him in a dumpster, but when I checked, his body was gone. Was he alive enough to escape, or was the garbage collector fast that day? I'd like to believe in miracles, but the garbage collector working that fast is a stretch. Boy, I feel miserable for not acting sooner to prevent it. He was right there. I suspected Cherell was going to do something like that. But did I warn JC to shut up? No. Gosh, I'm such a wuss sometimes. Perhaps the most tragic thing was the way Chet, who was so close to finally getting a life, got sent to reformatting. In the past three months, I've been looking at all the footbots, sometimes talking to them, but they don't talk back. I think Chet was finally repaired and reverted back to being a dumb footbot. Having lost an elite with JC, Cherell is working with just three elite guards. One of these elites, Eugene, took me, Toka, and Razar, who used to be Lee and Tommy, under his wing. Sometimes I cannot help but feel that he hates me. We have a new squad member. Miguel is a foot strategist. I don't think I've heard of foot strategists before. We've been trying to guess which earth he came from, but so far, no clues. He doesn't give personal information right away and he can be really uptight. Talking to him can be really tiresome. But he is very rational, so that's good. Cherell has reasons to distrust everyone. Deathstroke only took over the clan because Krang hired him to do so. Right after making sure the turtles were out of the picture. Which means, had he not showed up then, who knows what Krang would have done with us. But the reason Cherell is so paranoid has nothing to do with Krang. All this time since we met him on Earth-3, he's been fighting a fugitive android and several turtles. The fake sword of Tengu we have was apparently a decoy to lure him out. A plan from some alien race called the Utrams to proactively capture all the rogue aliens that could ruin their future relationships with Earth-84. Well, I gotta go now. Eugene just asked us to investigate a series of silent alarms that got triggered in the sewers. It's very likely that the turtles are back on our Earth, part of this fugitoid's plan to take Cherell back to Dimension X. I hope it's them, and that we don't find them. That could be the only way to get rid of this Utrom Shredder and for me to be able to quit the clan without consequences. Guys, what if we go back saying we couldn't find anything? Let's give the turtles time to attack Cherell so that we can get rid of them. Avert! Uh, how could that work out well? Well... If they get rid of the master of the clan, we would have no leader. With no leader, we would have a lot of warriors with no purpose. Restless! Yeah, but... No, I don't think that's a good idea. It's 98% possible that the clan would splinter and go to war with itself. Bruh, I don't know. I hate to agree with the wuss, but he kinda has a point, you know? I'm tired of Churel's mood changes. Yeah, yeah, I agree with the uh, t uh, Taka. Oh yeah? Please, let us know why you think that way. Well? Um, because it's the right thing to do. Why? Tell him about the mood changes. Yeah. 
He has a lot of moon changes. Even during the day? No. That would be stupid. You cannot change moons. Everyone knows that. Ay, ay, ay. Huh. I think we found the place. What is that? It looks like parts of Rokil Rodney's and Mauser's. WTF, why are those here? Does that mean they sent them first and failed? Guys, let's just go back. Come on, come on, let's go back. I don't want to see more people I don't die. Yeah, man, let's go back, bro. Yeah, screw this mission. But guys... I am going to ignore what just happened and encourage y'all to continue with the mission, okay? I reckon we can talk to these turtles and see if we can find a solution to your problems. Or kill them. Okay? Bless your heart. Ugh, it's really hard to understand this map if it keeps moving. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, this map keeps moving! Do you need help with the map? Wow. Yes, I think I do. No! We don't need help from no strangers. Especially if they weren't created by Eastman and Laird. Oh yeah? Well, he was also not created by Eastman and Laird. What about that? Stop moving around, you annoying map! Will you forgive me? I honestly wanted to help you. What are you talking about? What is going on? What happened to his head? Are y'all on drugs? Stop looking at me like that. What do you mean you wanted to help me? I am so ashamed of the way I stalked you. Wait, you stalked me? What? When? I thought you were gone. Tommy, you reverted back? I reverted back? You reverted back! Oh no, it's him. El hombre rata me quiere matar. Come on, this way, this way. Yo, this way, says the cute little mutant. Hold your horses, something is wrong. Do not listen to the cute mutant. It's a trap. Where do we go then? Let's go back and find a different tunnel. Boy, these walls are walking very slowly. They are barely moving. Ugh. Ah, oh, I don't like the taste of the new Coke. It tastes like sewer water. How do you know how sewer water tastes like? I guess it's one of those things you just know. Like, you know a possum is called a possum when you look at its face. What's a possum? Well, you'd know if you saw one. Well, I have the sense of smell of a dog. Just like the original Raja. I would know if this new coke smelled like sewer water. I'm sorry to break it to you, but the original Razar was a wolf, not a puppy. How can you be so sure? I mean, reality is so subjective. For all we know, we might not really be imprisoned in a cute alien spaceship. What if we are still in the sewers and we do not know it? Hold on. I thought we were in the sewers. Nah, we've been in a space chip for a while now. Space chip? Space chip? Chocolate chip? Chocolate chip. Hmm, no thanks. I feel bloated for some reason. Hmm. Well, if we are in fact in a spaceship, at least that would explain the Christmas trees. Hey guys, sorry I passed out. 
Are we listening to the guiding cute mutant or not? He's imaginary. Don't listen to him. How can he be imaginary if both of us are looking at it? That's it. I had it with your faults. Do you want to die or do you want to go back to reality? You unbearable nincompoops. Whoa. I swear, if I have to hear you guys talk your stupid theories for another day, I will just drink sewer water to death. What? Another day? Just stop drinking sewer water and come with me, you morons! Hey! Don't call me a moron! You're too cute to smash! Such a waste of my short lifespan. Okay, I think we should follow the cute mutant. Wait... His spaceship looks really low budget. We were in the sewers after all. Of course we were in the sewers. But what happened to the cute mutant? I am afraid you were all victims of our defense mechanism. A highly hallucinogenic gas! I see. Still, that Mauser said very insulting things to us. The Mausers cannot speak! But... He said nincompoops. What is going on here? This is the Baxter Stockman of Earth 87. He was the one that rescued me from Earth 7. Oh, I thought you were working for Deathstroke. That was just a convenient alliance to get what we wanted. Which is? We want to take over the clan and the city from all the Shredders. This was all my plan to begin with, and they just took it as their own. And revenge! <laughs> what did I tell you about screaming in small rooms? Revenge. I see. You two are well versed in the multiverse, Vilda? Yes. We are the smartest people we know. Do you think you can tell my Earth? What? Where I come from? I feel like you are missing some words. Maybe it's the gas talking. Nah, he does that all the time. It's like you only get the end of an imaginary conversation he had with you in his head. Could tell which Earth I come from? Well, I guess there are some tests we could perform. We have enough samples of many different universes, and each one of those has its own signature radiation. I guess we could compare a sample of you against those. Having said that, it would be much easier if you just gave it a hint before we start comparing against millions of possibilities. The only thing I am sure about is that I do not come from this Earth. Well, we can count on you on our events plan, but what about the rest? I reckon I speak for all of us when I say that we want to help you get rid of Cherell. Fantastic. What about Ernie? I thought he and Baxter were enemies. Come on, he's a wuss. He wouldn't do anything to go against all of us. They are planning on getting rid of the Utrom Shredder. Fascinating! I already knew Baxter was up to something, of course. But this confirms it. Problem is, we kind of need to get rid of Cherell. Yes! Let Baxter deal with him first. But what if they fail? That is why you need to destroy the Sword of Tengu. Without it, he relies only on his body armor. If you do that, you will be greatly recompensed. I can finally get what I want? Indeed. <laughs> and that is how I was able to finally quit the clan. I hate quiet nights. If crimes are committed by the police, shouldn't we attack them? Nah, too much effort. I mean, 
technically there is still crime. It's just petty crimes that have kind of gone away. Yeah. Let's call it a night before the police finds us. Excuse me, gentlemen. What the? Donnie, you're back. Yes, and we were worried about you. Uh, what, uh, what about the rest? Are they okay? Is April okay? They're fine, dude. Oh, he is Michelangelo from Earth A. He's the party dude. Totally, compadre. And that's Raphael from Earth 7. Or 12. Uh, depending on how you count them. He has the most attitude of the team. And I thought my Mikey was annoying. Donnie does machines. I do not. I'm just smarter than you. That's Leo from Earth 87. He leads. And we gotta do something. He's a bit intense. And she's not here right now, but... Oh, you seem okay with these guys, right? They're on our side. We know. We knew about them from the time they contacted the turtles from Earth-03. Beep! I thought they hated us. They do, I am afraid. But you are still the key to solve our problem. You are the one that can take leadership of the clan and agree to a peace treaty with the turtles. This could prevent a war, and you could easily scale down their foot operations to guarantee law and order. Feet. Whatever. Come on, cut the suspense. We are too exposed here. What happened? You are finally conscious. It took some time, but you are finally healed and ready for your mission. You know your mission, don't you? Yes, Master. I have to get rid of the Utrams, free Shredder, and help him regain control of the clan. Exactly. And don't forget how Krang used you to betray your friends, and Shirelle tried to kill you. They deserve no mercy. Their time is up, Master. The Shredder will reign! You are all wrong. Neither Chet nor I want to know anything about the Foot Clan anymore. But I am afraid your former teammates are in grave danger. Beep! Room. What? Nothing. Uh, gotta go. See ya. Fine. I have to do it anyway. Let's take over the clan. <laughs>